nothing less It's a new dawn in the hospitality and tourism industry. Mount Kenya University, the leading private university in Kenya, has invested in a multi-million hospitality and tourism related courses facility. It seeks to revolutionize training in hospitality and tourism not only in Kenya but also in the region. This facility, which also doubles up as the student center, hosts three restaurants, which are purely run by the students taking hospitality and tourism courses. Tourism is one of our major income earners. Therefore, it means that uh, the personnel that we let into the industry must be competent. And we can only develop that competency by having all the necessary inputs in terms of quality training. And in this case, we actually invest in infrastructure, human resource, and all the requisites for quality training. As you know, in the Vision 2030, Okunda and Isiolo have been designated to be uh, eco-tourist cities. Um, even when you talk about um, Konza city, you know, we are talking about tourism and uh, technology. So we, as Mount Kenya University, we have decided to invest heavily in the area of hospitality and tourism in order to meet the demand for qualified personnel in the area of hospitality and tourism. Jambo, my name is Alan Munene. Welcome to Mount Kenya University Hospitality Restaurant. This is the kitchen, the heart of the restaurant. The kitchen is a beehive of activities. It is here that top-notch cooks are produced. The students working here are the ones who are almost through with their course. They work here full-time. They prepare the food, which is later served at the restaurant to fellow students and members of the staff. Just before they go for their attachment, the final part of their university program, they will have to come through to this restaurant for their practical refinement, for them to refine their practical skills. The department would want to release to the industry that student who has got what it takes to, be, to work in the industry and to be competitive in the industry. The facility also has a fast food section. and an executive lobby. The lobby is exclusive for executive guests of the institution. The kind of facilities that we have here can host any uh, high cuddle uh, guest, including the president. However, before the hospitality and tourism students are allowed to work in this particular restaurant, they are first trained in another section of this facility, the demonstration kitchens. There are two demonstration kitchens, which are used by students who have just joined the university. We have demonstration kitchen one, where is, uh, we are right now, and the demonstration kitchen, which is right behind you. So this particular kitchen, we use it for the more advanced groups, people who are just about to go for attachment and people who come back from attachment. Whereas the one which is behind you is used for the new groups, uh, people who need personalized uh, teaching, basically, are the ones that we use for that. Now once food is produced in these two kitchens, we have two restaurants outside. We have one which is a terrace restaurant and an inside restaurant where we serve the food from.
There are also 20 rooms in this facility where guests can be accommodated. The rooms give the students taking housekeeping course an opportunity to practice their skills. This includes carrying out the laundry work using these state-of-the-art machines. We prepare them to go to the industry and they will be as good as anybody who is working in a four or five star hotel in this country. And for those who want to have a good time, there is also a bar in this training facility which is used to further enhance the skills of the students. And the bar will also be able to give them a chance to learn how to prepare the cocktails and serve them and also prepare them to uh, open and serve wines. The university has been keen on ensuring that students also learn about what goes on in national parks, which are also major contributors in the country's tourism industry. Our students usually go for compulsory academic trips in national parks, in tour companies, and also other tour-related uh, uh, enterprises to expose them. And uh, we also have uh, uh, one-week uh, training, you know, practical field every semester for all our students, irrespective of whether they are pursuing certificate, diploma, or degree. Students at the university also undergo mandatory theory classes before they embark on practical classes. Efforts by the university to produce top-notch graduates have not gone unrewarded. Sarova White Sands Beach Resort and Spa at the coastal city of Mombasa is one of the hotels that has absorbed former graduates of Mount Kenya University. Ben Rogers, a former student of Mount Kenya University, joined the Sarova White Sands Hotel several years ago. He now works at the presidential suite as a butler. He has been working here for two years now thanks to the skills he acquired from Mount Kenya University. What I did in Mount Kenya University is really, really helping me. The course I did from there, I can't regret. It's really, really helpful. Working here has enabled Rogers to mingle with the high and the mighty in his line of duty. I've served the Prime Minister Raila Odinga, served uh, President Kibaki. Catherine Wanjiru, former Mount Kenya University hospitality student, also works here at the Sarova White Sands Hotel in Mombasa, providing food and beverage services. The precision of her services, a clear indicator of the skills learned at Mount Kenya University as she goes about executing her duties. As a former student of Mount Kenya University in the hospitality department, I learned a lot and that is helping me in my career. And coming to Sarova White Sands is not only that I'm just working, but the career growth is there. The development, the trainings I'm having here, and the experience that I'm gaining. What I experienced in Mount Kenya University is what I'm currently undertaking and more value is added to that. These two particular candidates have been able uh, to, you know, to prove to us that they are good in what they do. And we look forward, you know, as they grow their career. And then, more importantly for us, we also have uh, coaching and mentoring uh, by senior managers for the new <coughs> associates joining the company. Uh, so this is something that has worked pretty well, you know, in Sarova chain of hotels.
Some of the former hospitality students of Mount Kenya University have also ended up being managers in their places of work. I think the season is okay. Yeah. Those were in the for Mbali. Yes. Carol Kariuki, a former student of Mount Kenya University, is now the manager of Oak Place Hotel in Nairobi. I studied uh, principles of management, courtesy of uh, Mount Kenya University. So I'd, I would say that the course, the food and beverage management, does not only limit you to cooking and serving or waiting serve or being a waiter. We are not uh, surprised to hear that some of our graduates uh, that um, have come from Mount Kenya University uh, have succeeded in getting promotions in some of the well-known you know, hotels uh, in this country. So I would say that um, our training is good. The kind of education in the tourism is, uh, is I would say, excellent. Mount Kenya University offers various courses under the Department of Hospitality and Tourism. Uh, we have certificate in travel and tourism management, which takes one and a half year. We also have certificate in hospitality management, which also takes one and a half year. We have diploma in travel and tourism management, which takes two and a half years. We also have a uh, Diploma in Hospitality Management, it takes uh, two and a half years. And uh, we also have uh, the degree program, Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management, it takes four years. Then we also have uh, Bachelor of Hospitality Management, a four-year program. And uh, currently we have Masters of Science in Hospitality Management. We will also have another Masters in Tourism Management program together with other travel-related programs in undergraduate level. The institution has also continued to provide recreational services to the students. The student center hosts a gym. The student center also has a supermarket, a salon, and cyber cafe. It is located next to the student hostels for easy and convenient accessibility. Although Mount Kenya University has its main campus in Thika, it has spread its wings not only in the country, but also in the region. giving you every reason to join Mount Kenya University and become part of the success story. Mount Kenya! Mount Kenya! Tunasonga bele! Mount Kenya! Mount Kenya! Tunasonga bele! Nothing less.